Hello and welcome to West Coast Bush Crafters. Today we are going to do some uh, pike fishing. Yes, we have the canoe with us. Uh, we have even a sonar. It's a little bit windy today, but uh, hopefully we're going to catch something. Yeah, yes, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, well, let's see. But wait, wait. No uh, knife preview. What? What? We, we don't uh, have a knife preview? What? What, what do you think about. Uh, it's a Norwegian uh, knife. What the fuck? Are these shirts not going to be? Yes. So, uh, we're also going to try this one out. <laughs> Surprise. Pike fishing, it was really fun, a big success. How many fishes did we catch? Uh, zero. Yeah, but uh, it was a great uh, evening out with the canoe. Yeah. But Jetto, what did you do? You well, bought a new knife. Yes, I did. Uh, because uh, I heard a lot about Helle. Yeah. And uh, as a Norwegian, I'm actually a little embarrassed because I don't have the any Helle knife. Me neither. So, uh, and I saw the Utvar, uh. <laughs> and uh, it looked like a good bushcrafter, so uh, uh. then I bought it. So uh, now we're gonna see and feel. I haven't opened it up yet. It's, so it's a beautiful package. Yeah. Reminds me about beef and knife yeah, also. Absolutely, uh, with a cylinder. Yeah, cylinder. Ali and Oi. Yeah. Open it. So, uh, yes, I will. <laughs> Let's see the knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a beauty. Yeah, absolutely. Try. Yeah, it fits, but it's it's not for very big hands. Eh? Yeah, but uh, there you can try. Ah, it's very, it's smaller yeah, than I expected. Yeah, actually. me too. A cool with the hollow pins. Yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a, but a big blade. Yeah, good looking, uh, very good looking knife. You see it? red liners here. But it's not four millimeters, is it? It's, it's, a, it's a three millimeters. Three millimeters. So, uh, get the outer gloves. It's perfect, actually. Yeah? Yeah, without the gloves, it's very good. And uh, I don't have a knife uh, with uh, this thing, and I think it's for uh, fire steel. Oh, ah, yeah. But we're gonna check that out later. Very light. Ah, it is. Very light. Really beautiful shape of the blade. Yeah. Full tang and everything. <laughs> nice it's a, it's a good good start. Absolutely. Yeah, the wood feels really comfortable. Yeah, it does. Yes, sharp out yeah. of the box. Very good. That's a cool knife. Yeah. Think. Stainless steel. It's good for the west coast. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, that's uh, well sharper here. Not so sharp here. Well, well, well. We're gonna test out the both of them. We have to eat, so I think it's yeah. time for a fire and uh, check it out. Yeah. Test it out. But it's a uh, great looking uh, knife 
Ah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going off another ticket. Chateau, first impression. Well, uh, it's very light and uh, so it's not uh, what we're used to with the bark river and uh, uh, beaver knife and stuff and it feels a little bit like a children's knife <laughs> but uh, now we're gonna test it out so I will be curious to yeah. see if you uh... If you change, or maybe you'll be um, what's called for English, overraska. Uh, yeah, overraska, a little surprised. But it's a, still a very good looking knife. It is. And uh, I like the pins and stuff, but let's see. Let's start to do some batoning. That went pretty well. Yeah, yeah, smooth actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I think it goes really smooth. Yeah, me too. It's it's good. Yeah. Try a little bit tougher one. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. It, it performs well. Yeah, I would say. Absolutely. Those kids nowadays have good stuff. <laughs> well, here's a tougher one. Let's try that one. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yes. It works. Nice. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Den här kan vi fälla oss inte med. Det är helt klart. Good scanning grind. Ja. Men den är uh, it bites. No force. Okej okay, okay, team. First time for me to feather stick with this one. Yes, perfect. Really light in the hand. Yeah, I as well. Yeah. I'm uh, very impressed. Yeah. And how do you feel about the handle being a little bit smaller than we we are used to? Um, I would say the the wide is good. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I feel like I would like to have a little bit uh, thicker yes. handle. But. Yeah. yeah, it works, but uh, it fits in the hand. It's a little bit tight here, as you can yeah. see. So, at first, I was a little bit. Uh, you can press once. So, oh, yeah, perfect. Um, I was a bit afraid at first that maybe you cut up your glove. Yeah, but I, it doesn't. That, that, that works. Yeah, I think. So let's. Uh, I will continue a little bit there. Yeah, do that. It's very. Very capable of doing good feather sticks, uh, I would say. Very good. Changing a little bit the pressure. Yeah. Not putting any pressure on it. Yeah, then you can get really nice, small, fine curls. Yeah. Pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Pressure. Uh, no, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> 
I it bites really well. Yeah. It's uh and it's uh, very shiny as well. <laughs> <laughs> shiny piece of metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, you liked it or? I'm uh, impressed, like like you said at the beginning. Yeah. It's a real light knife, but um, they they made a good edge, really sharp. Yeah. Out of the box. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is a bushcraft knife, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, perfect. It is. Cool. Cool. Go we start with that? Yeah. We try it there too, but. Let's start a fire. Let's start a fire, Tim. Well, uh, never gonna let you down. <laughs> Shall we uh, check out the spine uh, first? This is something. It's not. Well, I feel like a little bit uh, like an amateur, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yep. it's... Uh, it's not the spine that uh, we like, but you have this end. So we try uh, that one. Let's do that. How do you do it? Oh, <laughs> One, one more time. Jesus! <laughs> Holy shit. That's a I'm new a thing, isn't it? I'm a little bit shocked. I think I can start a fire from here. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise. That's a cool feature. Man! <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. Very impressive. I've never done this before. First time. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun! <laughs> I like it! Can we start? No, it's open. Yeah, you have it. Impressive, uh, Tim? Yeah, it really is. I uh, think the first knife I know <laughs> which has a feature like, feature like that. Uh. Huh? Man! Ah, huh? uh, that's cool. Well, Complete we... mind changing about the knife. Uh, you don't need a sharp spine when you got this one. Really impressive. Awesome. Oof. Uh, it's fun, right? Yeah, it is really special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a fire. And they look really good out of these hamburgers. Yep. Um, I think we can sharpen uh, the knife a little bit. Yes. You betoned with it. Yep. Um, there's some, I feel some resistance. Mm. So I think we're gonna use the Felic Neven uh, DC4, CC4, strop it uh, with some uh, white compound from Bargraver and uh, some DBK stropping compound. Yes, perfect. And then it will be air popping sharp. Yes, uh, I think you're gonna make it really sharp. But uh, it says uh, first time you uh, sharpened 12C27 Sandvik store. It is. Yes. So, so it will be new for me. And, and it's going to be uh, fun as well because I think you're going to make this one really sharp. Yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah. I will do my best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So 
some compound from the DBK. I'm gonna do this uh, outside the camera. <laughs> Yes, yes. We continue uh, with swapping shuttle, so this last stage. And this is 0 0.25 micron, so it is... Uh, it takes away the smallest of... Uh, yeah, it's make it from uh, shaving shot to hair popping yeah. shot, I think. <laughs> well, I have no hair on my arm. Yeah, there you go. Very sharp. <laughs> Hope you can see it, but it's uh, <laughs> it's very sharp. Yeah. Uh, and easy to sharpen or really easy. Yeah. Well, it didn't take long for us. No. I think what is it? Can you, maybe four minutes. Four minutes, and that's a really plus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just take your uh, sharpening kit with you, and uh, you yeah. have a really sharp knife. So now it's yours, so you can yeah. cut up some pike. Now I'm gonna check out how uh, how it works in the real life. Yes, yes. let's do that. Well, it's time to check out the sharpness. Some, uh, as you see, we have uh, caught some pike here today, and uh, this uh, pike. We're going to use it for bait later on, in yeah. the end of September, uh, we will start fishing for lobster. Yes. And you can use mackerel for fishing for lobster, mm. but this year we're going to test it with pike. Yeah, so let's see how it works. We need some nice pieces we yes. can put in our fish traps. Start with a head here, I think uh, that's a little bit big piece, but I think it will work. <laughs> I'm really happy that you sharpened the knife because uh, <laughs> you're gonna need to sharpen it afterwards. Yeah, no, 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 no problem. Nice. Yes. I can. Uh, uh, I can do like this. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I open the bag. One big fish head. Yep. Do you think this is the right size? Oh, I think that's perfect. Oh yeah! <laughs> you got some nerves there. Got some nerves there. <laughs> oh my god. Det här må vi det här kan vi inte ta med på filmen ja. Hä? <laughs> oh my god. Not for kids. <laughs> Not for kids. Not for grown-ups either. <laughs> Number two, I think you really sharpen it uh, well, Tim. Great, no problem. Uh, as you all can see, it's a pretty fresh fish. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, but when you touch the nerves, then uh, yes, it'll do that. It's the nerves. So that's. Uh, hey, that's like here. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, the pieces. But it cuts to bone quite easy, isn't it? Yes, yeah, quite easy. But it's, but it's a slippery it's a, little sucker. Yeah, and it's a really big one. So <laughs> yeah, there are 77 centimeters. Yeah. It's a nice fish. Ah, that's great. Yes. One more. Yeah. Do you need an axe? <laughs> no, actually. Axe. Actually. Well done, Chapel. Yeah, and the knife is really sharp. Good. It's a good one. And we got some nice chunks. Yeah. Of lobster bait. Very nice. So now I have uh, cut some pike, washed the knife, then I had a uh, helle towel. 
and I can dry this one out. So this knife is made for cutting up pipe. This is this is great. Ooh, smells like an outdoors knife. Our thoughts about the knife. And the first impression of the Helutvar was that it was very light and uh, the handle was a little small. So uh, we thought actually it was some kind of kid's knife or something. <laughs> yeah. But then we started testing out the knife and uh, very sharp. It was really sharp out of the box. Yes. Oh, and also a um, really shiny blade. I really like the shape. Yeah. Extremely surprised about the fire steel. Uh, we, it didn't work uh, at all on this side. But here, you were very surprised. It works very well. Yeah, it's really, very well. Really cool method of uh, of fire steel. Yes, and uh, we really like the looks of the knife. S a thin red liner here makes it even uh, more beautiful. And the pins are the hollow pins. So uh, they've done a really good job with this one. This is not a children's knife. It's uh, for grown-ups and bushcrafters. And what you say? Absolutely. It's uh, it was really easy to sharpen using a uh, Felkneven DC4 CC4 stropping, hair popping sharp. Really, really easy. You can you can even cut some pike with it. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it was no problem. <laughs> And uh, this is the first uh, Helle knife that I have, so uh, I'm very impressed. Looking forward to the Nord. Nord yeah. will uh, be released in June this year. Yes, that one we definitely have to uh, to buy. Hundred percent. Yeah. So. Uh, Helle, you've done a good job. So, so uh, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. And see you, next uh, time. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well